morning everyone. Welcome to my full day of eating. Without you, I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change. Familiar was the sound of your voice as I continued to walk. in the morning because I'm about to go hit up a Pilates workout. It's going to be really hard. My butt is really sore. So this is going to be interesting. But today I'm doing a full day of eating for you guys. If you guys did not check out my last video, it contains all of the foods that are going to be in this full day of eating. So I went through breakfasts, snacks, dinner. You just saw me cook up my oats with egg whites. My almond milk latte. Before I do any of that, I need to drink my celery juice. I've been doing eight ounces every morning on an empty stomach and it really helps detox you, it helps clear your skin, it helps digestion, etc. <sighs> That's so fresh. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this full day of eating and three, two, one, go. Where are we going? We are going to LaGree at Transform Colorado. <laughs> Full day of eating breakfast. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> Hi. Hi, babe. Oh, my sweeties. Okay, guys, post workout Pilates. I'm literally shaking because it was so freaking hard. I don't know if you guys have done a reformer class like that, but. Every time I'm just like sweating and have to quit between sets because it's so hard. It's a workout that your muscles, well that my muscles aren't used to. They're used to going fast, etc. where Pilates is very like slow movements. Anyways, we are done with the workout. I am about to drink my Formula One protein powder. And it is from First Form. They have two different proteins. So Formula One is their quicker digesting protein. It's a whey isolate. Their level one is a slower digesting protein. So right now, what I want post-workout is a fast digesting protein. It's the only time that protein powder trumps whole foods is post-workout because it shuttles into your muscles a lot quicker than having to digest like a whole source of protein. I was also supposed to have my rice cake and peanut butter, which you guys saw on the grocery haul, but I am a firm believer in listening to your body, and if you're hungry, eat. If not, don't. So right now, I really feel like I can only eat a protein shake because I'm still full from breakfast, from my oats, but I do want to get my protein in post-workout. It's really important to me to be focusing on the post-workout nutrition right now because it does, it can take your body to the next level if you're really honing in on your workouts and nutrition, supplements are always the next step. How are you guys liking the new color, Kodiak for balance? Releasing February 16th, 12 p.m. Mountain Time. We're so excited for this Kingdom Collection. Ugh. Okay, I got hungry, so I'm gonna have a snack. It's 10.50 and I'm going to do my favorite snack in the whole wide world. Rice cakes, caramel rice cakes, and peanut butter. <laughs> I don't think I've gone a full day of eating without these things in like two years. So I'm sure you guys are so tired of me eating this, but I'm not gonna come on here and show you guys like a false full day of eating because that doesn't make any sense. This is actually what I eat. So I'm actually gonna show you what I actually eat. I like this snack because it has obviously carbs and fats, and fats are the last nutrient to leave your digestive system. So it's carbs, proteins, and then fats are the last 
thing to leave your digestive system. So it keeps you fuller for longer, obviously. If you're in a dieting phase, I would highly recommend to keep fats in there, not only for satiety reasons, but if you are a female, your um, hormones really function optimally on fats. Um, I'm a firm believer in keeping fats in there. So my mouth is watering, as you can tell. Here is snack number one, part two, at 10.50 in the moment. hungry so what I have here as you guys saw was my fat free or my refried beans low in fat uh, my sushi rice which is the best rice ever way better than jasmine rice if you guys can do sushi rice highly recommend it's just so dense so good so sushi rice then I have 96% ground beef which is fire and then just some little toppings like salsa cilantro olive oil um, hot sauce and avocado. So I quite honestly eat this every single day. Super satisfying. The beans are great fiber. They keep you full for so long. Obviously you have your protein, but what's different about beef than chicken? I always notice that the fat content in beef makes me fuller for longer, like we talked about earlier. So I, I love it. It's so good and it's super easy. So you can meal prep this honestly, like for days in a row in your fridge because it's so convenient. All you have to do is heat it up in the microwave and it's good to go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, we are currently headed to Golden, which is only about 20 minutes away from us. And we are shooting the final color of the out not Outlander collection, the Kingdom collection. And you guys will have already seen us release it because we're releasing it. We have released it yesterday because this, vi this video is posting Thursday. Super excited, it's gonna be amazing. I'll show you the location where we're shooting. This might be my favorite one out of the entire Kingdom collection, I don't know. You guys are just gonna love it. In terms of eating, it is 3 p.m. I probably should have brought that snack with me, but I wasn't really thinking, I was very rushed because we were just getting stuff done at the house. Get Anyways, done. Get, get it done. done. Steve's the photographer. I am. He has been shooting me for <laughs> like three or four years for Instagram, so he's basically a pro. I am you know? A pro. He's a pro.
instead of five minutes. <laughs> so Taylor, are you gonna take your shoes off? Yes. And look at look. Chloe's glowing skin. Am I glowing? But just look at her. Anyway. I don't know. I think you are. Your <laughs> I know Aries glowing. Well, put this. Okie dokie fam, we just got home from the shoot. It took a little bit longer than I expected. So I've gone without eating for quite some time, which is a little bit abnormal for me, but you know, life happens and all you can do is just move on. So I'm eating a little bit later than normally. I'm gonna have my pop chips in a bowl with some hummus. At a mummies. Just got some vino. I will show you here. But first, go. The girlies. Hi. Here you go. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> yes, I let I let Zoe lick my face. I do, I do, I do. We haven't tried this. It's called Yigar. This is a Syrah Merlot Petite Syrah Cab Sauvignon. Our local liquor store called the toast he told us to get this so we did only pinot noir so we scanned it on vivino and it had a good score vivino is an app where you can scan wine by taking pictures of it and it tells you its rating based on like user reviews so this is my favorite wine of all time so far freak show it's a cab sauvignon by the michael david winery we're having this bad boy we have a glass of wine every single night no shame. Cause I'm a soul man. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Rock and roll man. Yeah, baby, I feel good. Who knows what that is? <laughs> Did you know what that is? Yes, I, I told, we've gone over this a hundred times. No. All right, trying the wine. The Frederick Becker family Pinot Neo Noir. Noir. Mmm. I like it. It's nice and light. That's what you think so it's like, Whoa! I wanted to sit down and briefly talk with you guys about how my eating habits have changed since a very long time. Um, so I kind of in high school went through a little bit of an eating disorder. Um, I was very inspired, I guess you can say, from the fitness industry, like cover, cover girls for fitness magazines and bikini competitions and etc. So I really wanted to be like that. Um, so I took every magazine I could find and I would follow like their specific diet plans they would lay out and exercises and it just got like an obsessive thing. Um, and also my family went through some pretty hard times where we went bankrupt and like lost everything. So I think that was my kind of way of controlling the situation was controlling my food and my working out. So I went through that a little bit and it was very, very strict on myself. I basically ate only vegetables and like nuts. So um, I went through that time and then obviously I went through my bikini prep days where I tracked macros to a T for like three years straight. And that was this past, the, that was these past three years. So um, I just kind of, have always been a little bit stricter on myself and on my mind. And I felt like I haven't really found or hadn't really found balance in my life to where I didn't want to eat something that I was craving because I thought that I would lose all my results or only eating specific foods to make me look a certain way. So I just really kind of focused on eating to look a certain way rather than eating to fuel my body, eating to satisfy my cravings. I would, when I was tracking macros, I would go through a bulking phase. That means you eat until you're like overly full and just feeling lethargic. And then I went the opposite way where you're in a cut and you're only drink, you're only eating like a very small amount of grams of food every day. So I've been on all sides of the spectrum. Finally, this past June, May or June, we moved out to Colorado and I finally felt the, felt like I could step away from tracking macros and step away from being strict and hardcore on myself because I just wanted to enjoy 
life. I wanted to be able to experience new restaurants and eat whatever I wanted when I wanted and just not stress about the tracking macro thing. There is a place for it for sure. I learned so much about portion sizes and different foods, but I felt like for me doing it three years straight was so just getting to my mind and getting to my happiness. So I kind of just cut it cold turkey and I was really scared, but I did it and I was able to be fine. Like you think you're gonna rely on something so heavily, but when you take it out of your life, you honestly just learn to live without it and it becomes your new normal. So that's what I did and I feel so good. Like I'm able to eat ice cream when I want, not eat this when I want, and I'm able to just enjoy life a lot more now than I have in a very, very long time. So um, if you guys are having something that is like controlling or consuming your mind, I would say to maybe take a step back from it and take a break um, if it's causing you any unhappiness because that's what I did and I can honestly say that I have I feel more balanced now than I ever have with my physique and food and just everything in general. Um, it shouldn't be that complicated. Food shouldn't be that hard. If you're craving something, definitely eat it, but maybe don't eat like the whole pint of ice cream or the whole bag of chips, you know? Moderation is everything and you honestly can fit whatever you want into your day as long as it's in moderation. That is, I'm a firm believer in that and I used to not be a firm believer in that because I was so hardcore in the past, so. Anyways, that's where I am. Was that good, Steve? Good. Good. I hope that helps you guys out who are feeling trapped in any situation. Um, and I'm gonna continue this full day of eating and drink my wine. Cheers. Okay, dinner, chicken, spaghetti squash, and marinara. Yeah. Spaghetti squash. Come on. Come okay, on. <laughs> you suck. Chicken, spaghetti squash, and marinara with Z salad. Okay, I'm gonna head to bed. I'm super tired. I'm pretty sure I just fell asleep watching a show called Bodyguard, which by the way, if you don't watch that, definitely do. But I'm headed to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching my full day of eating. Let me know if you guys liked it and also comment below and let me know what you guys wanna see next. Um, and I always forget to say this. Please be sure to like and subscribe down below for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. If I can't sleep, maybe I'll just call you instead Back when I was pressured, I would have fallen to my whole ways But never mind that, you cooled down But now you're too cold, but I don't mention it Cause that's just way more problems for me Why can't you see?